Handmaid's Tale, Inside Episode 1. We start the year with June wounded and almost dead. She wants revenge and she wants change, but she's also dealing with the consequences of her actions. One of the scenes that we really focused on when we wrote the script was the scene in the barn where June sees the other handmaids enjoying a little bit of freedom. There's a feeling of relaxation. There's a feeling of peace amongst the handmaids. She knows that they should not feel that way in Gilead. Even if you find moments of joy or moments of peace, you know that those aren't going to last. We are not free. Maybe this is as free as we're going to get. June is figuring out who she is. Am I a good mother? Am I a good friend? Am I a villain? Who am I? The first episode is more than anything about June becoming a leader. They have spent the episode running from these guardians. They do need an outlet for all of that fear, anxiety, and rage. June has to delegate to these women. Girls, this man betrayed his own country. Punishment for these crimes is death. <laughs> what that moment is about is about the burden of agency. When you get some freedom, you're much more responsible for the things that you choose to do. June is a little more badass than ever before. She's a woman possessed, a leader possessed. It is not enough for her just to find safety. You're here. June is here. Casting the role of Mrs. Keyes was difficult because you need someone who's genuinely young and looks young, but someone who can really act. McKenna Grace has a long resume for her age and is a spectacular actress, and I think really makes that relationship work. June becomes a surrogate mother to Mrs. Keyes and uh, very, very clearly takes her under her wing. We don't hide. She knows that she has to teach this young girl to protect herself in this world. Make me proud. I will. It is loving and powerful and scary. It feels so good to be back for season four.